I'm here with Gene Lawrence uh, talking about Autonomous Networks, which is an important initiative for Nokia right now. Uh, Gene, what does Autonomous Networks mean to Nokia? So this is really important because we think about our service provider customers and the experiences that their customers expect, enterprises and consumers. And everyone has elevated experiences now in terms of great service, very rapid response to everything, very seamless experiences. And so that is really underpinned by autonomous networks. We talk about zero X, where it's zero weight because fulfillment happens very quickly, zero trouble because there's flawless service, right. zero trust because of the security that is embedded in this. So when we look at our vision of autonomous networks, it's very much aligned with the TM forums, autonomous networks, uh, maturity model and mm -hmm. level. And so we're really committed to helping our customers along this journey to autonomous networks to meet their own goals and obligations. So Cody, the idea of autonomous, we hear a lot about these days, and we've also heard the term automation for a long time. What do you see as the difference between simple automation and truly being autonomous? I think automation uh, in the traditional sense is more about uh, taking a simple task and making those more automatic or less cumbersome from a manual perspective and uh, more effective, but it doesn't go far enough to really, you know, truly take more cost out of the business. And when it comes to operational tasks, that's really a tremendous amount of cost that is in the business from a management of the network side of the house. So automation at a level of really touching into the operations side gets deeper into the network's ability to provide enough information for the, the automation uh, management layer to, to really look into um, the ability to have the right data to be able to take deeper actions and really go further and be able to truly make it simpler to operate the network because the more and more load we put on applications from uh, different developers uh, in our network API space, applications that our customers add to the network, com adds complexity to the network every day. So we're, we're constantly at a race trying to simplify the complexity we're creating by adding new value to generate more revenue and the simpler we make it, and autonomous operations really is very reliant on, on AI and generative AI to be able to, to reach that, that goal. Yeah, great. So Gene, can you tell us more about the, the strategy of sense, think, and act and what that means? Sure. So the idea of networks that sense, think, and act is really foundational to Nokia's approach to autonomous networks. And just to unpack that a bit, um, Sense is all about gathering and normalizing data from the network using observability techniques. And then the next phase is Think, where we're using some of the AI and analytics that you talked about a moment ago um, to really analyze that data and make sense of it and create insights. So that's the Think. And then from there we move to Act, where we're using closed loop automation to act on the insights that we saw to deliver a fabulous experience for the end consumer. So it's this idea of sense, think, and act together that we think underpins what we're doing with our customers on the journey to autonomous networks. Got it, okay. So Gene, security is top of mind with everyone in the industry right now, given the recent breaches and ongoing uh, vulnerabilities and threats to the network. What is uh, Nokia's approach to uh, security as it relates to autonomous networks? So you're right, security is absolutely top of mind for our customers. I read recently that the average security breach these days costs about $5 million, not to mention the reputational damage. So it's something we're all very concerned about. And the approach we take at Nokia is very much security by design. So it's not an afterthought or the last step in the process. It's something we bake into every layer of what we're doing across the network. Um, and it's really important to create these networks that are very resilient, um, especially in 5G as the attack surfaces have been increased with these more open networks. Um, so for example, we have our cybersecurity dome product, which has won a number of awards, including quite recently for AI. It comes pre-built with a number of 5G use cases and a topology that helps um, the Network Operations Center understand where potential attacks might be coming from and to use AI to very quickly respond to those threats. Um, and now also including Gen AI as the capabilities that are part of our security. So it is foundational to everything that we are doing in our autonomous networks because it is critically important to our customers. That makes sense. 
So Cody, when you think of the complexity of the networks that our customers have, you talk to a lot of customers, um, how do we manage across domains, across types of vendors, the autonomous networks vision? Um, the, um, the thing we run into most, more than anything is multi-vendor networks. It's the reality in, in every network that we're in that um, there are gonna be a ton of players, especially as more cloud native participants come to the fold and as more uh, companies from all different sizes are embraced by our customers to you know, solve problems for them in, in different ways. So it's important for us to uh, observe the network and approach our whole strategy with AI ML Ops at a multi-vendor level and be ready to integrate at any particular point in the network to support the kind of functionality that needs to really go across all those different domains that are supported by that technology. And we find that whether it's in the access area, transport, or in the core, uh, depending on if it's fixed wireless, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, the behavior of the network is very much the same. And as we do more cloud native things, um, ML Ops becomes more of a natural play for us and being able to, to tie into CICD pipelines and, and, and create more natural security environments as well too that can see and sense everything there and then we act on the different capabilities around that uh, is all very much a part of that integration story. So we have to be prepared for that. We have to know that um, we're building products that can address those areas and, and can integrate naturally in those environments. Absolutely. So it's the multi-vendor, multi-domain is the name of the game for autonomous networks. Absolutely right.